Good evening. Here we are at the Clackamas County 4-H Horse Fair in Canby, Oregon. My name is Wendy Hine. I'm one of the extent extensionhorses.org experts and I work for Oregon State University as an associate professor dealing with the 4-H Youth Development Program. Today on our live video we're going to talk a little bit about horse first aid. At our county fair, we have 270 horses, so it's really important that we're prepared for all kinds of emergencies. So new this year, we created some brand new kits that we have stationed around our fairgrounds just in case. So let's take a look. Here, uh, here's our kit. It's in a duffel bag and that's sitting on a cooler so you can see for reference size. We created three horse kits and three people kits this year. So let's take a look at what kinds of things we've put in them. Here's a picture of our contents list. I'll put a, a screenshot of that in the comments of the video as well. And let's uh, take a look and see how you might use some of these items. So a few things we've got ready to go right on top. We have a box of gloves. That's always handy. It, uh, if, Rarely do you have time to wash your hands before you need to start attending to an emergency, um, but you can put, put on a pair of gloves pretty quickly. Uh, cold compresses, great for keeping down swelling. Um, we've got a couple of flashlights here, both a headlamp version and a flashlight. It's really common with horse inju injuries. They're, they're sometimes hard to see. They might be up under the horse's belly, um, uh, or it might be a deep wound and you want to get a better look. We've got a bag over here with some different um, different topical kinds of things. So we've got various wound powders and um, treatment for cuts and scrapes um, as well. Some fly repel ointment um, because uh, flies are attracted to open wounds. So that can help uh, prevent your horse from being the target of unnecessarily flies. Uh, I've got some ace bandages. There's a variety of other leg wraps in here as well. Um, lots of just general first aid things like uh, like vet, vet wrap, uh, rolls of gauze, gauze pads. Um, we've got a bag here. Okay, so ladies probably know what these are. And you probably have some somewhere. Uh, they are in here because they're really great at absorbing blood. So if you have a big bloody horse injury, Grabbing one of these sanitary napkin pads um, is a great way to stop bleeding. That's our water trap coming by. Sorry about that, just a little dusty here at the fairgrounds. Other things we have in here, we've got a bag of clean rags. syringes here for rinsing out wounds, uh, a stethoscope in case you need to listen for gut sounds or heart rate. Uh, we've got uh, some, some duct tape and adhesive. more things that are further down in the kit. Uh, we have 
uh, bolt cutters and a hammer and some pliers. Um, horses are really good about getting their, uh, getting themselves stuck in some weird places and sometimes the best thing you can do is cut them out. Uh, we've also got tools so we can pull off uh, a shoe if we need to. Uh, some other things in here, a thermometer, um, we've got uh, betadine scrub, um, scissors, um, hoof pick, and a twitch just in case the horse is not excited about being treated. So that's a quick look at, uh, at what we've got in here. So uh, we also want to give a thank you to our sponsors for this award. So uh, AMR, which is an ambulance company, actually donated a whole ambulance's worth of first aid supplies to us. So we were able to outfit the horse and human first aid kits with that donation. So if, uh, if you have AMR in your area, you should definitely talk to them and see if they can help you do the same. We also had a donation from Coastal Farm and Ranch and that allowed us to buy some of the additional equipment that you see here. All right, tell us in the comments about some of the first aid things that you've got in your kit. We'd love to see more. Bye.